Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial on HubSpot. Today, I'm going to show you how you can master HubSpot import association. You will be able to import different records and make sure they are correctly associated inside HubSpot. Now, why you should care about that? Because you have to keep your HubSpot organized. Otherwise, why would you like to see this video except because it's funny? I show you how to import contacts and companies in this tutorial, but this also works for all other records like deals, tickets, custom object also, and also, of course, for the activities like calls, emails, meetings, notes, uh, whatever, tasks. Okay, so let's dive in. So go to your HubSpot, go to contacts or companies, this is whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You click on import on top right and you click on start and import. Okay, so we want to import a file from a computer. We want to import this file you get the contact data over there and you also have the company data over there. So what we will do is to select import file from computer. You click on next. And now we know we have companies and contacts. So I will select both. But you see, you can also select activities or different objects. I click on next. You have to select single file. You put your file inside this and you can leave create and update companies and create an update contact. You can, if you want, create new contact only or update only existing contact. Uh, in this case, we want... So for different objects, you have some properties that are uh, unique for this contact object or for this company object. So for company, it's company domain and of course, the record ID. And for contact, it's email, record ID. And in my case, I have sales navigator link also but this is a feature uh, brought by Hublin. So here you see, you will import first name as contact properties, first name like this, all good, last name, all good, email, all good. But for company name, I prefer to have it on the company object. So I will say company properties and select company name. Why I prefer that? You can access to associated companies' properties inside your workflows, email, snippet, whatever, and it's better to have it on the company because Sometimes you will update the company and it won't update the company name contact property inside the contact. So it's better to have it on the company and on the company and don't use the company name on the contact level. Domain, it's all good. And company, I will set the industry. Same philosophy here. You can access to it. And here you see you have four errors. So why do we get errors? It's because the text of the industry. So for example, if I go back to my sheet here, it's technology. But inside my app spot, the industry property is a drop-down value and it does not contain technology. If I search for technology, you see I have biotechnology, information technologies, and nanotechnology. So I have to map this industry technology match with, for example, information technology and services. For education, I can search for education. And you see I have three types of education. So I will say education management finance, financial services, and healthcare. I prefer to have hospital and healthcare. Now you can close the tab. And now you see the error has been fixed and I can click on next. You can rename the import. You can click on create a contact list from this import. I personally prefer that, but it's not mandatory. It's easier to find this contact again uh, in one or two weeks. And you have to agree for this. I don't set them as a contact marketing because I don't want to push them, for example, email, a newsletter or something like that. But if you want, you have to set this contact as marketing contact. Finish import. Now the file has been imported inside the spot. You can see import host five, new records 10, because you have five contacts, five companies, and five associations, because five contacts and five companies. If you get some issues, you can find it over there and you can download as a CSV so you can better understand where was the issue and fix it manually. And now if I want to find these contacts inside my database, here I have only contact owner where it's not assigned. So I didn't assign when I upload these contacts, of course, I see them, but I can click on advanced filter, search for import. And here you see you have import five sheets, one CSV, and this is my contact. And there you have it, importing multiple records into your app spot without breaking your CRM. But remember, now you've learned this feature. Now you know how to import plenty of things inside of Spot. So do it wisely. You got a great power and you know what we say. It comes with 
great responsibilities. So thanks for joining. Check out my YouTube tutorial if you want to learn more about HubSpot. Until next time, this is Bastien signing off.